Let's make a butcher shop. Yes, a butcher shop where I can stow a bunch of cows and get a good food source and probably a leather supply. We need to start adding more automated things in my uh, so-called automated city. And where might we put this? I guess right here. That's my plan. Welcome to the Let's Play, everybody. I think this is what I'm going to build um, right here because I don't know what else to put here. I don't think I want to do any more of these buildings. Well, I might down here just to make this place feel very compact. As you can see, I moved my billboard. We're even going to make some more billboards today, but I really want to get this structure made. It's going to be made out of brick. I think this is a good spot. I'm trying to picture a big brick building here. Clay, clay, clay. That is all I have been gathering. It's bringing back a lot of memories of my factory. <laughs> you know what? Now that I think of it, my factory still isn't done. It's been so long since it's been finished, it's just going to be one of those builds I'll never finish on purpose. <laughs> all right. Oh, look. I keep improving it. I got lines on the side now. I like that. I'm going to place that in a few alleyways. Maybe we have some gangs trying to kill me because I run this place. Like an assassination of some sort. Whoa, there's our building so far. I really like these doors I came up with. I looked at a real brick building and kind of just modeled it after those doors and I really like the way they look. So this is the front of the building here. I think on the top, I'm going to write meat. <laughs> just M-E-A-T on like a giant stilted type board. It's hard to explain, you'll just see. But uh, yeah, I'm working on the sides now. Um, I got a cool design going on over here and we're gonna run through and I have a really cool way of damaging you up and adding in kind of like nasty bits like on that building there. It looks a little out of place. I made sure to keep a gap here. On the back, I'm gonna leave a big blank spot so I can add in some graffiti and maybe this is where they throw the cow carcasses back here, make it look gross. I've got a lot of clay and bricks to place, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, what did I sh- oh, Stupid Enderman. Littering in my town. That'd be so- What was that? Oh, I think it was him up there. <laughs> It'd be so cool to have different species in this town, which I think I'm gonna do. I wish you could bring piglins over here, but they just turn into zombified piglins, so I suppose we could still have them in some shops. But we can have them as a certain race here. We can do iron golems as a certain race. I like the idea of maybe having things from different planets, but uh, yeah, anyway. Um, I don't know what I showed you last. I'm starting to do some texturing. I really like this idea I'm going with here, which is stripped spruce log, coarse dirt, dirt, spruce planks, and then packed mud. And if you do it correctly, it creates this really cool kind of like grimy dripping effect. Oh, it looks good on this side. I did it all around, even on the back here, but I'm leaving some big spaces open because I do want to try to add graffiti into this. So I'm think, so I'm thinking right here, we're gonna have a graffiti piece and maybe down this little alleyway here, we can try to fit some in on these walls. I'm gonna run through and add in some granite as well to break up the constant brick look. I created some banners here too. <laughs> this is the best caution tape I can come up with, but I'm okay with it. All right, I could tell already today's episode is going to be a little bit lackluster. Ooh, I think I can try that too. It'll be way shorter than usual, which just kind of sucks, but that's just the way it is. I really want to get this video out today. So I think we're just going to focus on only this today and just get it completely finished. I think that's my goal. Um, so we've still got all the insides to do and this graffiti work. And this graffiti work <laughs> is really hard. So I thought about using those glazed terracotta blocks, but they just look awful. Because this graffiti is meant to be looked at close up, and I want it to actually be legible. So the first thing I'm going to try here is writing out the word evil, as if someone hate, hates this company, and they just came up and wanted to write out evil in red. <laughs> yeah, I think this will look fine. There's an L, I, we can do a V like that, and the E can just be that. And I noticed all terracotta blocks look the best with brick, because Every single color is very closely shaded to this because it was actually terracotta or clay. Ooh, I kind of like that. Now I'm thinking as well, eh, I kind of want to go over one. There we go. Maybe we can mix in some of this to break it up a little bit. There we go. Now I have a few other things I made. I made a heart, a skull, and I also made a gang emblem. Okay, I got my materials for my gang tag. Now this gang 
The gang that is going to be in this city are the piglins. Well, they're going to be zombified piglins. They're going to be the ones that cause trouble around here. And I think the best spot for this... I mean, it would be best right here. But I like evil. <laughs> I'm going to put it right here and see how it looks. I actually really like the way this one turned out. It's going to use a snout because it represents, of course, the piglins. But I'm going to have something spewing out of the snouts. I'm going to use... Yeah, I like that. This might look stupid. How does it look? Might want to change it up a little bit, but the idea is that the pig snout is blowing flames out of its snout. I think that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. Or it's a pink LA with devil horns. You see that? <laughs> no, I like, I see the snout more. Does that fit there? I think that actually kind of fits there. Another one we can do is right here. I'm going to just, oh, messed up. Go up one higher. This can be just a little heart. Maybe these graffiti artists prefer love over hate. <laughs> and then I can come through and act like another artist came in and was like, no, screw love. <laughs> like that. Nah, nah, I won't do the screw love. I mean, I, I just want to leave it like normal. I like that one. Here's some more ideas as well. Um, as you can see, I was trying to make the skull behind evil, but... I don't think I'll do that. Here's another version of a skull. This could be a different gang. Maybe these two gangs are rivals. <laughs> Even up here, here's a little UFO design. It's interesting. I'm thinking about making this, but no, I don't need that. But these are the signs on the top that I was talking about that I'm going to do. I'm going to do this one because if we do time, set, night, it looks like one of them, one of the lights are out because, I don't know, maybe the bulbs went out or something, but says meat, <laughs> and I have these right here lighting them up. I might do that on top of the building. Over here, I really like how this billboard turned out. I'm definitely gonna be building this one. I might leave them blank for now until I decide what to put on them, but I love it. Huh, will this one go good here? <laughs> yeah, I think this will be fine. Now don't worry about the insides if you are. I'm gonna be doing a different set of wallpaper on the inside so you don't see this on the outside, or on the inside, you know what I mean. Yeah, there's a skull walking down the alley, you'll see that. Let's get three of these, and one of these. Boom. 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 How's this look? I think it'll look good. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's perfect. It's lighting it up just right and everything. Meat. We're too lazy to get the A fixed. So it stays like that. Okay, well, I believe that is the complete outside. Perhaps I should, you know, make the actual farm on the inside. So I don't think I'm gonna have a, see, hmm. It's probably just gonna use a small space in here. I'm just gonna do that casual cow farm. It's gonna be about this big, you know, just breed the adult cows up top and the babies fall down here near lava. And then when they grow up, they get cooked and all their stuff goes into hoppers, so. I think that's all I'm going to do in here. That's all I really need, too. I mean, <laughs> I don't need an outrageously giant cow farm for this. All I need is just a little something like my kelp farm, just to constantly produce. Speaking of my kelp farm, how's it doing? I have not looked down here in a while. I'm hoping at least one hole. Okay, yeah. Is it oh, yeah, it's already going in here. See? All that kelp we didn't have. <laughs> so I believe this is the one I'm going to go with. For now, it's a very simple one, so there will be glass right here. As you can see, there's hoppers in a chest. The adult cows will be up there. You get up there to breed them. The baby cows will filter down to here, and I'll have a lava bucket inside of this. Just flip the lever, and it'll cook the baby cows that grow up. The baby cows won't get hurt. It'll stay down there. Just one of them simple designs. Now, one, it kind of simples because I don't want to have an overloaded amount. I mean, I'm going to have like 30 cows in here, so it will produce a lot, but whenever I remember to just run in here and breed them and do my thing. I'll have some meat and some leather. And now I think I want to build a design coming out of this, like almost like a conveyor belt. I'm thinking as I'm saying this, so. <laughs> and maybe have like an x-ray machine to look like it's examining the meat and then probably have maybe some workers throwing out like the bad pieces. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I need to go get some cows though. Uh-oh, what happened here? Looks like Bob got in a fight. 
I am gonna eat your babies. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with something like this. Um, so it comes out here. I don't think I'm gonna use this block. I think there's better blocks in the game now to represent, well, carcasses. <laughs> yeah, like nether quartz. It looks like ribs in it. I might use that or, what is it? Warped fungus block or something like that. But I'm gonna make it look like it goes through here. We got a saw there. Then I'm gonna have item frames with just raw meat in them. I think I'm gonna put an upside down piston here to make it look like somewhere you can flatten it. And it's gonna go through here. I think I'm gonna build another one of those right here. And this is gonna be a machine that like rapidly cooks it real fast with like a laser or something. This place is supposed to look really unhealthy. Like this is just mass food for the people that live in this town. So actually, I'm gonna make this glass red. I think that'll look better. Gosh. I love the graffiti. <laughs> this is gonna be one of my new favorite things to do in this city. If you come up with any cool designs, shoot me them on Twitter and maybe I'll end up using one of yours. But examples like, well, see, example right here, I can't use it right here because I didn't build this build around that because it would show on the inside. I plan to make a wall along here so we don't see it on the inside. But anyway, I got it circling around here. Go through the cutting phase, then maybe like a flattening phase, the cooking phase. And then I think I just wanna have a giant bin that all goes into, and then I wanna make some sort of packaging. These windows along here are going to be in this room, and then I'm gonna put a floor right there. And those are gonna be the offices up top. This door, yeah, I think I'm just gonna make a pile of carcasses here. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna make a dumpster, like a big dumpster with carcasses falling out of it. Okay, I already ran out of brick again. <laughs> this is six stacks right here. This inner lining, man, I just, ah, brick is so hard to get. It's one of the best building blocks too. Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way up to the top and then I'll run through and add in some granite in it, of course, but I just wanna cover up the graffiti on the inside. I think that'll just bring this build all together, make it look really realistic. So right here below this evil sign, I think I'm going to Make a dumpster overflowing with just blood and carcasses and maybe entrails of cows. So let's see what I can do here. I think I'm gonna use this block again. I think it just looks best as guts. <laughs> There we go, I like that. Different dumpster design. Now on the top, I wanna add a lid again, like I do on most of my dumpsters. We'll just do something like this to make it look slightly open. And boom, there we go, how does that look? Oh yeah, oh no, get rid of that grass. I'm missing something. Yeah, that looks fine. Redstone looks a little brighter than usual. Oh, is it because it's activated, doesn't it? Oh yeah, there, that's activated, okay. <laughs> yeah, ooh, that evil sign fits perfect above that, as if they hopped up on the dumpster and spray painted that on there. I like it. But yeah, and here, I just continued this belt to here, made it look like <laughs> just a pile of beef, and maybe we're packing them into those. Added in some redstone over here too to look like blood splatters. These guys aren't ready yet, I gotta get a lot of adults in here. Just gotta keep breeding them. Well, my friends, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. I just simply ran out of time. Um, I'd love to finish this, but it requires getting a lot more clay. Um, so perhaps we'll just, ah, I just keep saying that. I have so many builds. I didn't even finish this one. <laughs> I still wanna do that idea in here where it's no longer owned by the original builder, but rather one of the gangs took, <gasps> oh yeah. Maybe I can put some piglins in here, make it look like they took over this place, make it look nasty and rather have some like nether stuff in here because that's their kind of home is nether related stuff. I could even make the outsides look like some nether grew on it. Yeah, I might do something like that. Today's common question of the day comes from an Instagram follower and they actually sent in this fan art from, well, it was actually a couple of years ago. <laughs> I read this message and then looked above it. Um, and saw this fan art was sent over a year or two ago, but I appreciate any fan art that's ever sent to me, so uh, maybe I should start showing it more on this channel. Um, I might just start doing that. But they also ask, would you ever join another SMP or realm with friends, YouTubers to boost your channel's growth? So that definitely is a possibility. I've only played with one of my friends once on this channel and that is 
make griddle cakes when we did Slime Swine Adventures. Um, but that just slowly fell off over time. We've returned to it and it fell off again. I think we both just get interested in other games. I mean, I'll always, I always continued making Minecraft videos. I think he mainly got interested in other games and just kind of stopped recording. <laughs> but other SMPs have only been in a few bedrock ones. And yeah, one of them really boosted my channel at one point. I think I garnered 30,000 subscribers in one month. Stupid Enderman. <laughs> And that was from Jack Frost Miner, I remember that. But I don't know if I'd join another one, to be honest with you. Maybe, I mean, I'm just not crazy about them. I mean, if there was a chance in the world that I was able to join, let's say, like, Hermitcraft or something, I'd be like, heck yeah, let me in that. I don't know about any others, to be honest. All these buildings are kind of empty as well. We need to find something to put in them. Even the first one we made here is still empty. I still think I want to try to put villagers in here. Oh, and I need to relocate... The guy that was in here. Don't worry, I'll get it all set up soon. Ah, uh, that's gonna be it for today. Wow! I forgot I made these. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's like I haven't seen it in a while, but now that I see it, it's like I love these. <laughs> it's almost like I it's just like I completely forgot about them. Ooh, makes me want to play with them in the city. I got a couple generous donations too, but we'll get to those in the end of next episode because I'd like to start assigning some of these villagers in some of the new buildings we're making. I'd love that. Um, thank you everyone for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.